Hey everybody, so I'm going to do a quick first impressions on the MAC Zoom Lash Mascara. I have a little sample here. I received this as part of, uh, as part of a Nordstrom order that I did. I bought a bunch of Super Goop um, makeup, which is my favorite, and I got to pick a few samples, and this was one of them. And I really like doing kind of mascara reviews. I love trying out new, new mascaras. I wouldn't call this a review because it's the first time that I put it on my eyes today, but I did record myself putting it on to let you guys know what I thought. All right, so really quick before I start, I'm just reading from the website what it says about it. It says this instant volume mascara power lifts the lashes into length, curls them up, and builds them faster than you can wink. It's pre precision control wand glides smoothly down the lashes to provide to provide a gorgeously silky upward sweep. It says it's smudge proof, so not waterproof, and long wearing. But that's pretty much all it really says about this mascara. On the MAC website, it retails for $20, but on the Nordstrom website, I'm seeing it for $17. So I guess if you're interested, go to Nordstrom instead. But yes, I thought I'd just quickly show you the wand. Obviously, this is just a sample. It's not the full size. But that's what the wand looks like there. It's very long and tapered towards the end and it's a bristle brush wand although as you'll see myself applying in a second these bristles are they're quite tough they don't uh, i guess that's a good word for them they're not rubber at least i don't think that's funny now that i'm looking at it closer it might actually be rubber no it still feels like bristle i don't know it's a very interesting texture it feels like bristle but then when you go to apply it to your lashes it, it acts a lot like a rubber wand wood, so I'm not so sure that I'm a fan of the wand itself, but I do like the shape of it. So I'm just going to cut to the clip now of myself applying it. Alright, here we go. So I'm going to start off by curling my eyelashes because that is what I do prior to applying any mascara. So I'm going to go ahead and do that first. Alright, here we go with the first coat. already got it on my eyelid. I feel like it's not grabbing the lashes that well right off the bat. Like the brush itself is quite, I don't know, stiff to get my lashes in between it if that makes sense. I mean now that it's got mascara on all the lashes it's working a little bit better but I felt like I had to kind of go up and down just to coat them a bit before the wand would grab it. I definitely feel like there's quite a bit of mascara on this wand. Then again, I did just open it. I think when I go to the second eye, I'm not even going to stick it back in the tube. I'm just going to use what's left on this brush. A wonky eyelash happening here. Okay, so that's one coat there. I'm going to go ahead and do the second eye just while I have this wand still out. Oh yes, still plenty of mascara on there. Same issue here, I don't feel like my lashes are going through the comb. I feel like it's just kind of coating the outside but not, not combing through, like just coating the bottom. So I feel like I have to also coat the top. So I don't know how I feel about that. We'll see when we get to a second coat. The, wa the wand is good though at getting in these inner lashes here. You can get right in there to the tiny ones, so that's good. So far I don't have too much of an opinion, it just seems like a very basic mascara. There's the first coat. It lengthened a little bit. It's not clumpy at this point. Um, it's, it hasn't given me too, too much volume. I would say it's more lengthening. So I'm going to dip the wand back in. I'm going to go for a second coat before this dries too much. Oh, it definitely hasn't dried much at all. Like some mascaras, you have to be really fast. I can tell already that this is not the case. They almost still feel wet, so maybe I should have waited a little bit longer. I'm getting a little bit <laughs> scared at this point because these ones down here are looking a bit spidery already. And I'm not a huge fan of the clumpy spidery look. So I don't want to put too too much more on because I don't want 
I want to separate these guys down here and go the other eye. Definitely not loving this mascara. I don't hate it. I think it's making my lashes look quite a bit longer, which is good. It's very, very black. Um, but as far as application, I don't like the way that it's not really grabbing my lashes. Well, right now it looks really nice in the viewfinder there. You can see how much it's lengthened them. And the second coat definitely did add volume, although I would be super careful because they are getting a bit clumpy and spidery looking. There's the second coat. Try for the bottom lashes. Well, this is a good brush for bottom lashes, that's for sure. All right, so here's the finished look with two coats of mascara. And from the side there. All right, so as you can see, I'm kind of undecided on this mascara. I wasn't a huge fan of the way it applies, but I do like the overall effect in the end for just two coats and I mean barely two coats because that wand had so much product on it I think it did really really well I'm curious to see um, how it applies over time as the product starts to dry out I think I might like it a bit more when it's there's not so much product on the wand I'm also curious to see how it holds up during the day um, it's not waterproof I don't usually wear mo waterproof mascara though so I don't think it's going to be a huge deal but yeah, I'm going to keep an eye on it during the day. I'll leave down below in the comments how it held up, if there was any issues or anything like that. But yeah, that's kind of my first impressions on this mascara. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to leave a comment down below. And thank you so much for watching. Bye!